Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to take a look at the performance of Counter-Strike Source on the Intel Core to do P8800. And we're playing this in on a Lifebook S series from Fujitsu, which is the S7220, so a 16-year-old machine by now. And we're playing this at 800 by 600 with basically the lowest settings available here. All right, and let's go, and I think I'm just gonna create a bot game here real quick. Let's give it 10 bots to stress the CPU really hard. And Counter-Strike was released in 2004, if I'm not mistaken. So it has been four years since this machine uh, had been released back then. So let's see just how well this runs. Italy, one of the most famous maps in Counter-Strike Source. I remember that. Right. And why do I have the mouse on my screen here? Oh, I don't think I can do anything with the mouse here. Let's just tap out real quick. And tap back in. That should resolve that problem. It does. All right, and this one has an HDD, so no SSD, which should give us the, the the most realistic 2008 experience that anyone would probably have back then. And yeah, so far, this is fairly smooth, to be honest. I mean, 70 FPS. I guess if you would play this on a, on a bigger screen, then it just would uh, look absolutely horrible but playing this on this very tiny 14 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen i think it is this is not too bad and even the fairly low resolution i mean i guess the resolution would be worse if you're playing a newer title or more recent title because then you would have a lot more uh, textures which are not as linear as these ones here where the low resolution really doesn't matter all that much but yeah, I mean, we are playing this with 10 bots and obviously the lowest settings, but yeah, this is perfectly playable. And as you can see, the CPU, which is a dual core without hyper threading, is actually what's holding us back here. And it's not the iGPU right now. So yeah, let's see how these bots will fare against each other. And I guess they're just all going to camp here. Oh yeah, but it's perfectly playable and it is one of the, the last Valve titles which is playable on this machine because I've tried Left 4 Dead 2 which has been released in 2009 and that one simply wouldn't start. Like you would just get a leggy black screen and then uh, the game would crash. So no real luck to, to get this one to play. But yeah, Counter-Strike Source still has a rather active community in some parts, at least here in Germany. So you might want to check that out. And yeah, if you want to play it on something as old and ancient as this one, I guess you totally can.